I don't think of retirement. I'd like to see someone come into it, you know, that's really proficient. There may be, there may not, but um, to bring it up to our old lake in standard all the time, I don't know what will happen. First thing is uh, confrontation with the customer, a uh, bit of thought reading. I can usually sum up what they like and what they don't like by their conversation. And uh, they usually look through photographs and drawings I've got in the shop and piece it from there, actually, what they want. And in uh, the usual cases, I produce a sketch which they uh, either send to them or they collect and they browse over it and they like it or they don't. And that starts it off. From the sketch itself, which is usually to scale, uh, I boost it up to the size of the job on a paper pattern and uh, perforate it. And then you rub um, what we call a pounce bag across the perforation, uh, usually blue powder in the bag, and brings the pattern out onto the uh, board, which has got to be decorated. On the pattern, I mark all the colours, and uh, one colour will bring another, it, get, give it its true value. I mean, you get this in fashion and everything, I believe. We don't just place the colours anyhow, you know, haphazard. It's thought out, you know, to bring the value of one out against the other, or at least I hope so. You usually pencil it all in from the perforation. And um, from there on, we start to build up with the different paints. Our class kind of uh, served the middle class, like Mother done charring and uh, in housework. Father was a milkman, so that meant rising at 6.30 in the morning, <laughs> 6, to uh, help him. Well, I was born in 1914, and... Uh, Did you come from a large family? Uh, no, <clears throat> no, only one brother. Yeah, well, he's retired now as a civil servant. But we both went through the mill as far as the milk round went. <laughs> Even Mother used to go out and help him sometimes. But uh, we accepted it. I mean, we enjoyed our lives as kids. We, we made our own pleasure. What did you do? In our games and uh, up and down the estate kind of thing. Clues, chasing one another. and. All sorts of games. Cigarette cards was uh, <coughs> prominent then. Marbles, five stones, spinning tops, hoops. Yes, it was. Uh, and uh, also our parents. They had parties and knees up, you know, the old piano with a beer on the top. I don't know, some great times, really. It 
in those days, kids couldn't leave school quick enough, a lot of them, but no, I can't say that I was um, itching to leave school. I don't know why I like school, really. Didn't do too bad, you know, finish that next seven. That, that was the top, the next seven. The teachers used to, they used to say to us, if you don't concentrate or, you know, concentrate on the lessons, that you'll finish up an errand boy. And that was about <laughs> the lowest, not the lowest level, but um, about the most unintelligent job. They were future-minded then, our parents. They wanted us to be something. But it was Mother that uh, did all the probing and the foraging, really. Well, Dad, you know, it was hard work, seven days a week milk, milking, and um, I suppose he thought, well, that's been good enough for me. Uh, I don't think it worried him quite so much as Mother. But uh, she definitely wanted us to get on, if possible. Not just finish up as an errand boy, as I said. Leaving school, uh, I was awaiting a relation in, uh, for a position in the commercial art world. And uh, whilst waiting, I took a job in a, in a boot repair shop and got on quite well for a youngster. And uh, eventually, I got to the finishing stage, finishing off boots and shoes. and. Uh, what I liked most of all, which struck me very much, was putting the nice black line across the bottom of the shoes like we used to then. And uh, I, I think a little seed was sown, enjoying doing these straight lines. And also the boss saying, you do it better than me, may have been a little bit of the seed sown. But from the commercial art job fell through, so I um, went from the boot repair shop to uh, the West End where we uh, had a job with uh, Japanese, where they did furniture, Japanese lacquer style, mostly for maples and people like that, which lasted for six months. I was interested, but um, it didn't seem my style. Uh, it was very intricate and very small and uh, there didn't seem much future in it at the time, according to my parents. So from there on, I was uh, told about Lakin's, this is the Funfair factory at Streatham, uh, required a lad through a relation. So I decided, as it's local and seemed more to the point, I, I went there with to uh, be interviewed kind of thing it's by the boss and uh, he said could you do this Mickey Mouse etc I was, don't know but seeing the shop and the work around I immediately thought well I'd love to do that which I suppose was the start of everything 